Hey guys, I'm back with another video and this is the second fall makeup look that I did for you guys. I plan to do three looks. I did the other one, the reddish, brownish, pinkish shade. And now I did this orangey, like the orangey and brown look for fall. So I used the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the shade Morocco and I love this shade I think it's perfect for this look I didn't use falsies um, I didn't do a wing liner because I wanted to, to do something different a, a bit of easy makeup look that I know you guys want and probably the next makeup look that I'm gonna do is a much simpler look not this kind of dramatic kind of look like the other one and this one but yeah, I wanted it to be a soft glam kind of type of makeup for fall. So yeah, this is my orangey, brownish, warmish uh, makeup look. So if you want to see this look, just keep on watching. So we're going to start off by using again the L'Oreal Paris blendable concealer in fair light and then we're gonna blend it using our hands and I already did my brows using the Maybelline fashion brow duo shaper in brown and the LA girl eyebrow pencil in medium brown so we're just gonna set the primer that we did using the Avon true color fa sandy coral quad and then just gonna use my two-in-one round concealer and contour brush from 168 and then we're just gonna use the Maybelline Cheeky Glow Blush in Fresh Coral. And then using our Nichido 235 brush, we're just gonna blend it. Or like we're gonna pack it on our crease using that color as a crease color. So the next one is the Sephora Makeup Box Palette. I'm gonna use this orangey shade and then we're just gonna pack it in the crease too. And then we're just gonna blend it all out. And yeah, I'm using the Intuit Eyeshadow Shader Brush to put on this kind of like shimmery peachy color. And then we're just gonna put it on the entire lid. The next one is that we're just gonna blend everything out and then we're just gonna pack the same colors on the crease so that it will help it intensify the color so using next one is using the Avon sandy coral quad we're gonna use the dark brown shade in the quad and then we're gonna put it on the outer crease to intensify it and then make it look like a super soft um, smoky eye then we're just gonna blend it using our naked two palette eye brush to blend it all out for some reason I kept on changing brushes because I don't know why but yeah I'm just intensifying the smokiness of the eye using different kind of brushes then kind of like going back with the colors from the Sephora palette and the Avon Sandy Coral Quad so we're just gonna go back on some shadows to intensify it and then we're just yeah we're done with the eyes and then moving on with the face so start off by cleaning the face taking all the fallouts out and then we're gonna use the elf poreless face primer and then we're just gonna put it on our face using our hands make sure your hands are very clean while putting on products in your face because we don't want to have any pimples or blemishes going on. So I'm going to use the Quick FX Tinted Moisturizer. I don't know the color, but I think this is the lightest shade. They only have, I think, two shades. So I'm just going to put it on my face using a beauty blender. But of course, the beauty blender isn't quite helping putting on this product. So I'm just going to decide on putting it on using my fingers so yeah we're just gonna blend everything out using our fingers and on the neck we're gonna put it and then I'm just gonna use again the raw color face brush and then we're just gonna 
dab 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 on her face then we're just gonna blend everything out make sure that pantay siya then we're gonna use the Maybelline Feet Me Concealer in Sand Sable and then we're gonna highlight our face for some reasons I forgot to spot conceal my face and I don't know why so yeah I'm so sorry if you see all them blemishes and pimples on my face but yeah so we're just gonna highlight our face inverted triangle um, forehead and the nose bridge just highlight those things and the, your baba we're just gonna highlight that and yeah so using the raw color foundation brush again we're just gonna blend it and I'm just gonna sp spray it with the mix fixer from face shop so that it will be kind of like a wet brush I just want the wet kind of look on my face so yeah just blend it all in Using the Avon foundation in shell, we're just gonna set the concealer and the tinted moisturizer in our face. And then using the Beige Cosmetics blush palette, we're gonna use the bronzy shade and we're just gonna bronze up the face using the 2-in-1 round concealer and contour brush from 168. And then we're just gonna first contour and then bronze using my trusty Revlon blush and bronzer in pink rose and using the Victoria's Secret blush contour brush we're gonna bronze up the face a little bit so we will have a bit of warmth and then using the city color B matte blush in fresh melon we're gonna use it as a blush and use the elf stipple brush Next is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Using the same brush, we're just gonna put it on our face. And using the Elf Total Face Brush, we're just gonna blend everything so that it will be all well blended. And using the Oval 6 Highlight Contour Brush from Divisoria, we're gonna highlight our face using the Maybelline Master Highlight Blush in 30 Coral. So we're just gonna highlight the bridge of our nose. Our forehead, Cupid's bow, and our chin. So we're just gonna curl our lashes. And for some reasons, I lost the footage of me putting on the mascara and tight lining my eyes, and then the lower lash line, putting on some products. I just did put all the products, eye products that I use on my lower lash line so that it will have a bit of highlight effect under my on my lower lash line and yeah this is the final look that I did for you guys I used the BYS lipstick in halftime oranges and the NYX soft matte lip green cream in morocco so yeah i hope you guys enjoy watching this video and yeah subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you enjoyed watching this kind of series of makeup and comment on the comment box below if you have any more suggestions or any comments about the video so yeah thank you guys for watching bye